back to Arc Tutorials. In the previous mini series, I had given you top 10 reasons as to why I would recommend Bootstrap or I, why I would recommend React Framework. In today's episode, I am going to give you top 10 reasons as to why you should choose Angular Framework. Again, the idea is not to say that one framework is better than others, but this is a generic benchmarking to give you solid reasons as to why you should choose any framework. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. The first and the foremost reason as to why you should choose Angular is because it's a full featured framework. Angular is a comprehensive framework that provides a complete suit of tools for building complex web applications. Angular has built-in batteries for routing, form handling, state management and much much more. That means a lot of details are already inbuilt. You don't have to depend on any third-party plugin, library, etc. The second reason is TypeScript integration. Angular is built using TypeScript, a statically typed superset of JavaScript, which means TypeScript offers enhanced code readability, error checking, improved tooling support, and much, much more. You can actually implement full-fledged classes, object-oriented, strict type checking, and much, much more with TypeScript. The third reason is the modular architecture. Angular promote, promotes modular development, which means uh, you can create modules and then have component services related to it together under one, which means you can group things together under modules. That's one of the most core feature, I would say, of Angular that helps in large enterprises because when the code base increases, you want to have segregated code, you want to have maintainable code for long run. Modules encapsulate component services, other related code, facilitating code organization and separation of concerns. The fourth reason being two-way data binding. Now, Angular's two-way data binding streamlines the synchronization of data between the view and the model. Every time something changes, the view already gets updated whenever there is a change in the model. That means you don't have to explicitly write code to update the view. The view gets instantly compiled and already the value is this updated values are displayed. That's the beauty of two-way data binding. Dependency injection. Now Angular's built-in dependency injection system makes it easy to manage component dependencies and services. This helps us in promoting code reusability, testability and separation of concerns. We can also have standalone components and much, much more which really helps in, you know, you can segregate and separate out your services, which is basically the dependency injection, or you can create your own decorators and do much, much more. Powerful templating and directives is the sixth reason. Angular's declarative templates enables dynamic rendering of content based on data. Directives like ng4, ngf, ngswitch simplify DOM manipulation and conditional rendering. The templates itself can be so powerful based on the if-else condition, the logical everything that your model and the view can be really dynamic and powerful. The seventh reason being my favorite RxJS integration, which means Angular integrates with RxJS libraries seamlessly and RxJS is a library for reactive programming. RxJS facilitates handling asynchronous operations, managing streams of data, dealing with event-driven scenarios, and much, much more. If you master RxJS, you would be amazed as to what all you can do in Angular with RxJS. That's the possibilities are endless. Number eight, CLI for streamlined development. The Angular command line interface provides such powerful tool tooling system that you can generate components, services, pipes, directives, everything almost uh, that Angular supports. And that way, it means that you don't need even knowledge of how it to write and basic stuff. It generates for you. So that's like a boilerplate right there for you. It helps in creating, testing and deploying Angular applications more efficiently. The ninth reason is the mobile and the desktop support. Angular supports building progressive web apps that provide a seamless user experience across various devices and platforms. You can create responsive applications for both web and desktop using Angular. The last reason 
Angular is backed by Google and it's there for long run. Angular is developed and maintained by Google which and Google uses a lot of uh, Angular to build its own internal projects as well as external facing projects. So that means Google is ensuring that there are consistent updates, security patches and it has a long term support. It's also used by a lot of leading companies. If you go to Angular and see what all companies are using, you'll find you know, Fortune 500 companies out of that at least 50% are using Angular. There are a lot of job opportunities, a lot of career growth options. I have personally grown in my career using Angular. As you all know, my channel has dedicated Angular playlists. So yeah, so I have a bias for Angular. But that being said, those are my top 10 reasons as to why you should choose Angular. Don't forget to check out the top 10 reasons for React and Bootstrap that I've covered earlier as well. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section if any of the reason I'm missing or you think otherwise. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in other episode. Thank you.